In this part of our expert guide to journal publishing, we follow on from our what to expect from the peer review process video and prepare you for the decisions you might receive. We will look at how to respond to requests for revisions, steps to take should you receive a rejection decision and what happens after acceptance. If you are invited to revise your paper, make sure you are methodical in your approach to tackling the revisions requested by the editor. Give yourself a few days to digest the reviewer comments before taking the next steps with your revision. Everyone may develop their own preference and styles in approaching revisions, but here are some commonly used methods you can try. Organising the reviewer comments by ease of response or your ability to complete them. Number each of the comments from each reviewer. Include a point-by-point -point response letter detailing how you have addressed each reviewer point referring to the changes in your text and where to find them. You do not need to change your paper to each suggestion, but you should provide a response as to why you have not done so. Check with any co-authors that they are all happy with the final versions before resubmitting to the journal. If your paper should be rejected, try not to be too disappointed. It does not mean there is no future for your paper at all. As with our revision recommendations, set aside the letter once you have read it and give yourself some time before tackling it. When you are ready to proceed with your paper, consider the following steps. Choose your second choice journal. Revise your paper according to the reviewer comments you received as much as possible in the same way as you would if resubmitting to the same journal. Do not assume that the comments received from one journal's reviewers are no longer relevant or valuable it is likely that they will improve aspects of your paper. Secondly, even in reasonably large research fields, there is a chance that the same reviewers who saw your paper at the first journal will be asked to review it at the new journal. It will not reflect favourably on you if you have not acknowledged or considered any of their comments from the first round of reviews. Check that the format of your paper meets the submission criteria of the new journal and, if you wish, write a cover letter to the new journal explaining the relevance of your paper and be sure to address the correct journal editor and the correct journal name. Hopefully your paper will eventually be accepted. After acceptance, you will usually be required to sign copyright or licensing documents to give the publisher the rights to publish your article. Be sure to read these documents thoroughly to understand what you are signing. If you would like to publish your article as open access, article processing charges are usually requested at this stage along with options of Creative Commons license. There are many different ways in which publishers and journals manage their post-acceptance stages and publication schedules. If information about your article is not provided to you, you may contact the journal office for updates on progress. The peer review process can be a time-consuming, frustrating experience, but with these tips and building up your own repertoire of resources and experience, you will soon master the art of submission and peer review. For more ideas to help you identify journals and feel confident about submitting your paper, read through our full Expert Guide to Journal Publishing series and watch the other videos which look at why we publish in journals, aims and scope, instructions for authors, citation and alternative metrics, research and publishing ethics and predatory journals. Music